How does free breakfast and lunch five days a week sound? Well, for lots of FWCS students, that is an option now. Tonight, the FWCS board approved a new program. It'll offer free meals to all elementary and middle school students in the district. News Channel 15, Sarah Wagner was at that board meeting and joins us now with more on the decision. Mark and Heather, board members voted unanimously to approve this measure just a few hours ago. They say it has many benefits, but above all, ensures all students will have access to healthy and nutritious options. We shouldn't have food and, and when kids are going to be fed as an issue that gets in the way of our learning. So this is a way for us just to stop having that as a conversation. Forty percent of students in the school district must qualify for free meals to make the district eligible for the federal program. Of the 51 schools under FWCS, 44 will now offer free breakfast and lunch for all students. Up until now, students have been required to apply for free or reduced lunches. This program eliminates any potential stigma attached to the paperwork. It might make people feel more comfortable because there won't be any identification of what a student's um, income level is or anything like that. Um, there would be no guessing at this point since everyone would be eligible for the same program. If you're wondering where the district is finding the money to fund such a program, it's actually already included in the budget. Because we run a really um, efficient nutrition services program, we're able to do this program with the um, revenues that we currently receive and so um, this won't cost us anything additional from the general fund or any other resources that we're providing to students in the classroom. The meals will also comply with the USDA guidelines that are already in place. Students don't have to participate in the program, and middle school students can still purchase a la carte meals if they want to. Implementing the change is something the board says benefits all families, no matter what their situations may be. I think sometimes people think that uh, folks are always trying to figure out how to get something for nothing. Our parents are hardworking folks, and uh, in today's economy, uh, people struggle to try to figure out how to make absolutely certain that their children are getting nutritious meals. On the other hand, we also have working parents who are not necessarily there uh, when their children leave for school in the morning. Indianapolis and South Bend are also adopting the program. We reached out to the other three Allen County districts on whether or not they plan to participate, but haven't heard back. Sarah Wagner, News Channel 15.